Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Chelsea feeling impact of sanction as rivals swoop to land two academy targets. Summary of headline article. The sanctions will impact Chelsea in a wide-ranging number of ways. With the Blues unable to agree to transfers. Sell tickets for matches or sell merchandise from online or in the club shop. This license will only allow certain explicitly named actions to ensure the designated individual is not able to circumvent UK sanctions. According to the Daily Mail, the Blues rivals have wasted no time in realizing the impact of those bans. And as a result, their fellow Big Six clubs are now moving to take advantage of Chelsea's new situation. It is quite a big change from yesterday to today but we can't influence it. We didn't cause the situation. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. A Euro way are dealing with a terrorist state, a Euro says Zelensky. Biden plans fresh Russian trade crackdown a Euro, live. Summary of headline article. Russian jets bombed cities in the west of Ukraine in the early hours of Friday morning hitting Lviv, Lusk and Ivano Frankisk. As the Kremlin's war continued to creep further into Ukraine. With the advent of a period of clearer weather. Ukrainian officials had predicted an uptick in Russian atrocities. Dnipro. A strategic city on the Dnieper River was hit by three strikes with at least one hitting a residential area killing one person according to Ukraine's emergency services. Photograph. SES of Ukraine images from Dnipro showed emergency workers putting out a fire-shattered building in the city. In the last week there has been an increase in attacks to the west of the Dnieper River with Zhitomir, the closest to the west of the capital Kyiv being attacked now on a regular basis. From the Independent under the main headline of a Euro still major gaps a Euro in Ukraine visa scheme. Despite Home Office U-turn. Summary of headline article. Pretty Patel's changes to Britain's scheme for Ukrainian refugees do not go anywhere near far. Enough. To give proper support to those fleeing conflict. The government has been warned. Lawyers said many Ukrainians do not currently have passports and are still likely to seek out visa. Application centers for help with the confusing process of filling out applications. The announcement came amid mounting concerns about unnecessary delays and bureaucracy in the visa application process for the UK's family visa scheme, which was opened last Friday. Marley Morris, IPPR Associate Director for Migration, Trade and Communities said there were still major gaps in the UK's support for Ukrainian refugees. But Andy Hewitt, head of advocacy at the Refugee Council, said the change to the visa scheme did not go anywhere near far enough. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Putin a Euro's troops close in on Kyiv is Russia. Accused of a Euro nuclear terrorism a Euro. Summary of headline article. Our Russian forces may be positioning themselves for new attacks within days against Kyiv. British defence chiefs warned on Friday. The convoy has advanced about three miles closer to the Ukrainian capital. A US defence official said on Friday. With some elements as close as nine miles from the city. Some of the vehicles have moved into forests. Max R reported, with towed howitzers nearby in position to open fire. Unbowed by the sanctions, Russia kept up its bombardment of Mariupol while Kyiv braced for an onslaught. Its mayor boasting that the capital had become practically a fortress protected by armed civilians. 
Footage circulated on social media showed the blaze at the Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology, which Ukraine's government said was shelled by Russian forces. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Ukraine streets full of corpses is locals dig mass grave in Mariupol. Summary of headline article. Grim images have emerged of a 25 meters long long trench being filled with bodies. Wrapped in carpets and sacking. As many as 1,200 have died during a brutal nine-day siege Ukraine streets full of corpses is 1,200. Die and locals dig mass grave in Mariupol stricken Mariupol, s war battered streets are littered. With corpses and locals have been forced to dig a mass grave whilst under fire. Grim images have emerged of a 25 meters long long trench being filled with bodies. Wrapped in carpets and sacking. He said. We try and try and try. But I'm not sure if it'll be possible today, or other days. Image. Anadolu Agency via Getty Images. Anadolu Agency via Getty Images. Mr. Zelensky has urged the West to impose even tougher sanctions in Russia. From the Sun under the main headline of Russia accused of nuclear terrorism after bombing reactor. Site in Kharkiv. Summary of headline article. Russia has been accused of nuclear terrorism by Ukraine after bombing a reactor site in the city of Kharkiv. Ukraine's Center for Strategic Communications and Information Security tweeted. In Kharkiv. Eyewitnesses report a fire in the building of Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology. The State Nuclear Regulatory Inspectorate of Ukraine accused Russia of committing an act of nuclear terrorism. Russian forces have already taken over two nuclear power plants in Ukraine, raising concerns about the security of the nuclear facilities. Four Ukrainian rescue team walking through the rubble in Kharkiv credit. Rex 4 damage from continuous shelling in Kharkiv credit. Alami. From Mail Online under the main headline of Ukraine War. Guests on Russian state TV defy Kremlin crackdown. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Putin's war on freedom of expression in Russia appeared to be fraying at the edges on. Thursday after guests on Kremlin-backed TV defied Moscow and openly criticized the brutal conflict in Ukraine, calling the invasion even worse than Afghanistan. Enough already. Speaking during a broadcast on Russia One earlier, Karen Shaknazarov, a filmmaker and state pundit, said the conflict in Ukraine risked isolating Russia. Donations to the Mail Force Ukraine Appeal will be used to help charities and aid organizations providing such essential services. On Wednesday, the United States denied renewed Russian accusations that Washington was operating biowarfare labs in Ukraine, calling the claims laughable. Goldman Sachs said it would close its operations in Russia entirely making it the first major Wall Street bank to do so since Russia invaded Ukraine. From The Guardian under the main headline of Facebook and Instagram let users call for death to Russian soldiers over Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Facebook and Instagram users in some countries will be allowed to call for violence against Russians and Russian soldiers in the context of the Ukraine invasion. After parent company Meta made a temporary change to its hate speech policy. As a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine we have temporarily made allowances for forms of political expression that would normally violate our rules. Like violent speech such as death to the Russian invaders. We still won't allow credible calls for violence against Russian civilians, Meta said in a statement. The temporary policy changes on calls for violence against Russian soldiers apply to Armenia, Azerbaijan, Estonia, 
Georgia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Russia, Slovakia and Ukraine. We are doing this because we have observed that in this specific context, Russian soldiers is being used as a proxy for the Russian military. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of one of first British fighters in Ukraine shares battle with Russian troops. Summary of headline article. Jason Haig, who served two tours in Iraq, joined up with other foreign fighters in the Georgian Legion and took part in the Battle of Antonov. Before being arrested as a suspected Russian spy one of first British fighters in Ukraine shares. Ferocious battle with Russian troops a former British army medic says he is proud to have fought alongside Ukrainian forces after joining the war effort against Russia. Jason Haig found himself in the midst of fierce fighting during the Battle of Antonov as Moscow. Troops attempted to seize the strategic airport in Kiev Oblast from February 24. His unit joined a detachment of Ukrainian troops heading to defend Hostomel Airport. Jason said they kept shouting, Russian, at him as he assured them he was English. Eventually, the pair were later released and Jason joined hundreds of others on trains to Lviv. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine latest news. Russia could be preparing for renewed offensive. Warns Mod. Summary of headline article. Ukraine's stiff resistance against Russia's invasion could be a model for Taiwan to defend itself. China claims democratic Taiwan as its own territory and has threatened to invade. China has largely backed Russia in invading Ukraine. A conflict that has parallels in Beijing's approach to Taiwan. While the government in Taipei has shown overwhelming support for Kyiv, it would take much preparation and assessment to engage in war. So China should really think it through beforehand. From ancient wars to recent ones. There are winning sides that only result in a miserable victory because of the heavy toll. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.